All right, with this WASH 2 Facebook Live, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Minolfi. Hope you guys had yourself uh, a good day today. Well, uh, Tropical Storm Nicole continues to pull away now from Central Florida and will loosen its grip on us here as we go through uh, the overnight time frame. Still watching that next high tide cycle. Uh, weather does improve over the weekend as we turn a little bit cooler, a little bit drier. And we'll break that down there for you. Plus, uh, go over the next high tide cycle for everybody as we get you on into uh, this evening, which we will likely see some more uh, coastal beaches erosion. Not as bad, though, as this morning, but certainly uh, something that we will be watching uh, as we go through the evening, especially with the fr uh, fragility of all of those structures there in Volusia County. There is the latest cone on the coal. Uh, good to have you folks in here. Sammy. Kevin, Maria, Margaret, and uh, tell you what, uh, Ann and Sammy being up there in Volusia County today firsthand and seeing all that uh, destruction, it was just uh, unbelievable, heartbreaking, uh, very emotional, got to be honest with you, all these people, their life savings, and, and now it's uh, uh, potentially uh, going to be at a, at a loss because of uh, uh, what uh, Nicole brought to us. There's the storm system right now. Uh, power outages in Brevard County has significantly come up uh, in comparison to where we were earlier this morning with 44,580 people uh, still without power. And then in the green, we have Seminole, Marion, and Orange County is still with anywhere from about 7,000 to close to 10,000 people uh, without power, something that we will uh, continue to watch. Now, when we take a look at the wind radii, uh, <clears throat> Depends on where you were, Sammy. In some places it was, in other places it wasn't. Um, if you were along the coast and you lost uh, your condo or it's being, um, you know, uh, con condemned because of issues with the structure, then you know, it was worse for you. Uh, Jojo Lovejoy, Lori White Cushing. It is, exactly. Well said, Lori. Lisa Michelle, live in Port Orange, my heart's big. Ah. Unbelievable, Michelle, wasn't it? It is, and it's going to take a long time uh, to fix. There's the latest winds, strongest winds right now, up towards Tallahassee, Jacksonville, and the southern half there of Georgia. St. Augustine's in the house. Worst of the winds are now northwest of you. Elizabeth Hot, thanks for all those pictures and photos today. Appreciate that. Great rain day, says Jennifer Blumel Reardon. Jenny? on the block. Uh, good to have you in here. Appreciate you. Uh, so that's a look at the wind field. There's a look at the bands that are still coming up from the south and the west and just offshore. And i tell you what, we could see the lightning from the coast a short while ago uh, when we were on uh, Daytona uh, Beach shores there. Now recent wind gusts here uh, last hour looking like this still in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range. Rose, correct. Crystal, you, you're welcome. Suzanne Slater, hello from Rock Ledge. Para came on in there about an hour ago and it was out all day. The beaches are not looking good, says Suzanne. Appreciate the update there, young lady. But thank you for, you're, you're welcome, Crystal. Sharon, thanks, Tony and Team Wesh. You are welcome, Maria Sophia. Uh, let's take a look down to wind gusts. Gerald, appreciate you there. There's a look at Daytona Beach, Fort St. John, 75. Mile and hour winds, Marine Land, Melbourne, Daytona Beach, anywhere from 60 to 65 miles an hour. Candy Price. Thank you, Cindy. Not Candy, Cindy. Maria Sophia, Deborah. Hey, Tony, I'm from South Daytona. Deb, thank you for your kind words, young lady. Appreciate you. Uh, Melanie, you're welcome. Kathy Brunel, you are welcome. And thanks for watching, too, by the way, guys. Patrick Air Force Base 67, Orlando International 63. <clears throat> Uh, as we uh, take a look at the rain since Tuesday, the Ponce Inlet, Port St. John, Oviedo, and Palm Bay right around <clears throat> uh, five inches of rain. So pretty significant there. Second rainfall list since Tuesday. Winter Springs, Windermere, Lake Mary, and Deltona, six to eight and a half inches of rain. A lot, a lot, a lot of rain. All right, let's talk uh, wave action. <clears throat> now, there you go. Today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Improving. Just got to get past uh, Friday. Uh, Diane, you're welcome. Uh, Dalton Newman, you're welcome. Jess, anytime. 
Thomas Perry. <clears throat> Thomas Perry. Yep. Uh, Royal. Watch you late last night. Sal. Sal, are you uh, in town or you're out there in uh, Vegas, by the way? Can't remember. I think, uh, can't remember if you're snowbirding or what. You're, you're a little tired. Yep. I'm sure you are if you were watching me that late. Uh, all right. So, Wednesday. That was today. Uh, high tide we just had. 8.45, 8.31, and 8.12. That's it right there. So, watch that there. All right, let's take a look at the graph model. Amaryllis Arroyo, you're welcome. Anthony Mazzari, thank you. Uh, Kevin Connor, appreciate you. Christine Nicole. Christine Nicole, I will pass along those kind words. Nic uh, Nicole Kunai. Nikki, couldn't have you that bad. Yep, gotcha. There, there. Thank you, Sally. Uh, Terry Lottie, yep. There's your winds. Calming down. Getting better. Still a bit of a breeze. But back to normal. I don't like that. Gotta like that. Still have a flood advisory uh, uh, along the river. Uh, there's a look at the river levels. Boom and boom. Rivard, Melissa Grant, Gary Hicks. That was rough. You were correct. No in Vegas. Oh, oh, ah, sorry to hear that, Sally. I know we're in this year. Yeah, Vanessa Kilo Kai, Paulette, Sammy, Lou, Lou Ferry. Oh, thanks, Chief, says Barb. <laughs> Barb, love that. Bust him, yep. Ah, some of us will work this weekend, some of us won't. Ooh. All right, so here's the river update. Sorry about that. My bad. Uh, current levels at uh, Astros 427. Going to be now in major flood stage the rest of the week into early uh, next week. Heart is broken for Daytona. Diane, well said. Watching from North Dakota. Wow, through a blizzard, yep. Gail Copeland, good to have you there. Brittany Fischetti, the fish is in the house. Moderate flood stage at Lake Harney uh, through the rest of the week now. And more of the same for the land, moderate flood stage. Uh, uh, tonight. Tonight I go home and I rest. I will probably sleep 12 hours. There you go. Now there's a look at Sanford. <clears throat> 6.8, 7 7.2. Woo! And then a uh, little Wakaiva in action stage here now <clears throat> for the rest of the week. They, told me they did, Rennie, yes. Jojo Hernandez, you are the man. Right, let's take a look at this now. Boom! 7, 9, 12. Through 5 a.m., a few showers around, but nothing more than that. <clears throat> now we will wrap it up here. A shorter version tonight, as I got to get cleaned up and ready for work since I was doing my day job. Uh -uh. There it is. Thursday and Friday, 30 to 10 percent chance for a few sprinkles. Look at those temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. Butimus maximus. That is just phenomenal. There we go. 7 day AM. Got to put the 7 day PM in there. So that's, that's a look at that. Jenna J. Lynn, Common Leesburg. Thank you. Yes, Karen Howard. Jojo Hernandez was up last night. Yep. No, there we go. Allison Tillman Pendergrass. I do. I need, I need, I need a jug. <laughs> I need a jug of coffee. Yep. I've been going since uh, 8 o'clock this morning. All right. So there it is. It's a shortened version tonight. I've got to get ready and get out of my regular workloads, uh, non-workloads, reporting clothes, and put on my uh, my work clothes there, my suit, so to speak, and do my little Superman change here. Anyway, I'll be back tonight at 10 on the CW18, and again at 11. The good news there is cleanup will be underway. The weather's going to be improving. Cool fall-like weather for Saturday and Sunday, and I can't wait for calmer weather. That's all I'm going to say. Lucy, you're welcome. Sammy, thank you. Victoria, no, no surprises. It better not be, Vicky, Debbie, and S Sally, and Stephen Bashana. All right, guys, toodles. i got to rock and roll and start getting ready 
uh, for tonight's show. See you tonight at 10 and 11, guys. Take care.